After finally coming face to face with his nemesis Night Swan, Thrawn began to detail the events that brought him into an alliance with the Empire. Seeing that he wished to offer Night Swan a position with the Chiss Ascendancy, Thrawn was more than happy to provide these details. He first noted his mission exploring the edges of the Unknown Regions, both during and after the Clone Wars, to survey the situation of the known galaxy, and report back to the Ascendancy. Thrawn also explained to Night Swan that his mission carried over into the Imperial Era, granting him the ability to examine the Empire itself and compare it to the Republic. But Thrawn's survey on the edges of the Unknown Regions brought him into contact with a faction formally aligned with the Separatists, and who wished to use Thrawn and the Chiss to strike at the heart of the Empire in retribution. In this video expose, we'll look at how Thrawn was recruited after the Clone Wars to overthrow Emperor Palpatine and the Empire. In his conversation with Night Swan, it's clear that although Thrawn was primarily interested in uncovering information for the Chiss, he quickly became involved in the political fallout of the war and the fall of the Republic. While exploring the Empire from afar, Thrawn discovered a small colony of Nemoidians who fled from their homeworld in the immediate aftermath of the war. It wasn't long before these Nemoidians discovered Thrawn's origins within the Unknown Regions and his connection to the Chiss Ascendancy. Upon learning this information, the Nemoidians begged Thrawn to join them in their efforts to overthrow the Emperor and his new empire. But more than that, the colony was actually pleading with Thrawn to lead the Chiss in a battle against Coruscant itself and to strike at the heart of the Imperial government. Thrawn would learn that these Nemoidians were attempting to recruit him and the Chiss as allies to not just bring down Palpatine, but also restore the Republic through their alliance together. Of course, Thrawn wouldn't trust the unsupported promises of the Nemoidians and rejected their recruitment efforts after the Clone War. As Thrawn would conclude, the colony had a severely overblown opinion of themselves and their capabilities, and thus, Thrawn made no promises. Years removed from this encounter, Thrawn could only conclude that the colony was still where he left them, holding on to their resentments and still foolishly clinging to their dreams of victory over the Empire. Thrawn's recruitment by the Nemoidians after the Clone War did have one significant benefit for the Grand Admiral. It was this initial contact that would ultimately establish a mentorship and alliance with Imperial Cadet Eli Vanto. When he first made contact with the Empire, Eli's sparse knowledge of the Chiss made Thrawn believe he might have been a plant by the Nemoidians he met previously. This pushed Thrawn to promote an acquaintanceship with Eli, and by the time he was convinced there was no connection with the Nemoidians, Thrawn saw the rare combination of tactical genius and leadership within the cadet. Ultimately, Thrawn's recruitment by the Nemoidians would gain the Grand Admiral a powerful alliance with Eli, one that Thrawn planned would assist the Chiss Ascendancy in the end. So there we have it, how Thrawn was recruited at the end of the Clone War to overthrow the Empire. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. If not for me... For overestimating your own abilities.